right. Don't mess with me. Passage to murky waters. Interesting. It says it's like midnight, but it kind of looks like uh, dawn or dusk. It's pretty light out. I don't see stars or a moon. Alright, so there's another one of those creepy devourers. Tons of herbs. Raspberry bushes. So I had to go in the direction of the uh, creepy devourer. Creepy. Grab some of these raspberries, because there's got to be a reason they have so many raspberry bushes. I'm sure somebody in town's going to be like, oh, I love raspberries. I need one for poultice for my grandma. Alright, got raspberries for days. We find out that like there's these are cursed raspberries, which would be like, you didn't take any more cursed raspberries, did you? <laughs> All right. Ah, this whole part of the map is in the end of the map. It's just undiscovered. Okay. So what's this old mill house here? This grass is so tall. I feel like I'm going to run into a Pokemon at any point in time. I have to go the direction with the devourers. Yeah. Hello. Bars, crystals. Looks like I need a book in order to get anything else from them. Well, music got scary and I freaked out. Let's see, there's a small farm down there. This is the ruined mill. I imagine I'll be coming back here later. Right now, let's head to Mookery Waters. It's a little frustrating that uh, I can't drop down like this one foot drop on a hill. I have to go running backwards and uh, try to find a way down. But what are you going to do? I believe this game is actually based on a Bioware engine. Um, Aurora, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not what you would call a, you know, a robust platformer engine. <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? There's an inn. There's a passage to the lakeside. There's the baker's house. I'll leave this house at Class Bridge. Mm. I guess we'll make our first stop in. A lot of these peaceful wide open fields. It's gonna suck when I have to go back to the shit sack of the city. Devourer, giant centipede, wyvern 
egg, basilisk, and the alp. Um, well, first of all, let's drop those drugs. I'm not gonna do anything with those. And I guess I'll just take what I can. In, traveler. Greetings. If you're weary, rest. If you wish food or drink, call my daughter. I will. Make yourself at home. Thanks. May I help you? Farewell. Greetings, sir. Spaceship. What? You think everything's small in the country? I meant no offense. How can I help? Farewell. The waitress. Oh, my back. Fish spiders. It's pretty empty tonight. Hey, there's Dan the Lion. You're fighting the Sixth Watch Cock. The Rock. I heard you beat Butterbean and Fat Fred. And Gablada. I'm looking for a worthy opponent. Then welcome. They call me The Rock. But you look nothing like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Want to fight a real champion? What's the wager? 500 orins. Heck yeah. I'm in. Indeed. The bliss of need. I'm itching to it somewhere. Congratulations, champ. Before you collect your reward, know another fight awaits. Who with? Go to the swamp, where you'll meet the nameless one. Choose your reward. I'll take the best of all runes. Here. be about it'll be a masterpiece in verse interesting horrifying romantic and the story engaging and straight from life I changed my mind see poets don't need to embellish life is colorful enough aim to write about peasants working the fields dandelion I know you better than that not as well as you think you'll see <laughs> what happened in Bazima after I disappeared who knows I left soon after you Though I did hear that you staged quite a bloodbath. Sometimes killing is necessary. Now don't get offended, but has killing people become a pleasure for you? I only kill humans in self-defense. <sighs> like the old days. Try as we might, we just can't seem to cull the population of vicious SOBs. I sense we haven't seen the worst of them yet. Be careful. I will. Geralt? What happened in Vizima after I disappeared? Who knows? Oh, we Sometimes. Now, that. okay. Fine. I'll. I see. Be careful. I will. Geralt. See ya. Hey, Julian, you're one of the guys that's involved in the main quest. Greetings, Witcher. 
I've heard a lot of good things about your kind. That's rare. Usually people treat me like a leper. Not in my house. When I was a child, I heard many tales of a witcher who saved my grandfather's life in exchange for a silver penny. That must have been a while back. I'm Geralt. Oh, yes. In the olden days. I'm Julian. It's a pleasure. Might as well sell these things. All right. All right, this book. Info. All right, now we've got some space. Now, what do you have to offer? Grindstones, blah blah blah. He sells just about everything. All right, it's diamond dice collectors. What are you, I read that one? Are you read that one? Also, how I deal with uh, end user license agreements. Okay. Okay. Get out. Tell me the story of your grandfather. Grandfather. May Melitelli watch over his soul, had a plot of land, a piece of a rocky, frozen valley in northern Kovir, and a deserted coal mine with no coal. Grandfather always said that a treasure was concealed in the valley. He worked hard every year to discover that treasure. Initially, many gladly took the jobs he offered and helped, but soon it became clear that Grandfather had gone mad, that there was no treasure. When he was 47, had rheumatism and a collection of Bobolak scalps above his mantle, he was overcome with grief and went outside. He began cursing the heavens, berating all the known gods in the foulest language he knew. The gods answered. There was a terrible rumble, and an avalanche descended on the valley. Grandfather regained consciousness, burrowed out of the snow, and looked around to see something that would change his life. The entire valley was glimmering strangely, glimmering so beautifully that he nearly didn't see the beast coming towards him with a heavy gait. Grandfather fled, bending over once to pick up a strangely glimmering stone. In short, he escaped. Descending from the mountains, he encountered a witcher who agreed to slay the monster in exchange for a silver penny. They returned to the valley, and the witcher slew the beast. He could not help noticing the wealth laying in that valley, yet he demanded nothing beyond the penny promised him earlier. Grandfather grew to trust him, and knew that sooner or later someone or something would come along and want to take his treasure, for the treasure in the valley was immense, Geralt. Diamond deposits that took years to extract. They became partners. The Witcher watched the workers, killed monsters, drove off bandits, and Grandfather managed the business. He's a legend in Kovir, and my family is wealthy and respected. That's the whole story. Cool. I've taken Beringer's job, decided to handle this problem myself. Listen, I'm in the middle of planning my wedding. You have no idea how much time it takes. Come back later. What's up? Soon I'll marry the village mayor's daughter, Alina. We're planning our wedding as we speak. Farewell. Okay. So I 
I got a little bit more uh, backstory of what's going on here. Anything else going on? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like there's upstairs. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, rest for a bit. How? Where's the village mayor? There's a large hut in the village where the mayor spends his time, but he lives in another large hut, so... I'll find it. How can I help? Any interesting news? A wedding, that's what. The mayor's daughter, Elena, is marrying a townsman called Julian. He's staying here at my inn. One thing. Yes? You look sad. Can I help? Perhaps. Crooked Lou and Bucktooth Bow stole a case of best fire water. Return it, and a useful artifact is yours. What artifact? It was a jest. Not funny. Your question reminded me of some old games. I couldn't resist. Hmm. No matter. How can I 